My name is Pam Rubinoff, and I lead the Climate Change Adaptation Program here at the Coastal Resources Center. We apply our 40 years of experience in coastal management to the challenge of climate change adaptation throughout the world, as well as here at home in Rhode Island. In 2007, we collaborated with USAID's Global Climate Change Team to prepare a guidebook on adapting to climate change in the coastal zone. Since then, we have been working with a growing network of colleagues and partners to carry out vulnerability assessments, put adaptation measures into place, and share lessons about what works and what needs to be done. In this series of short videos, we explore some practical approaches being used right now by our colleagues in several different coastal countries. Climate change is already having serious consequences for Tanzania, where we have worked since 1997 to build local and national capacity for coastal management. Climate change is causing major problems for coastal watersheds and the well-being, safety, and food security of coastal communities, according to Tanzania's Climate Change National Adaptation Program, or the NAPA. In the rural coastal villages of Tanzania, People live close to the sea and are quite aware of the rise and ebb of the tide, the seasonality of rain, and direction of the wind. They also notice climate change and climate variability and how it is impacting their lives. Experts predict that the impacts of climate change will increase, and this makes the management of coastal ecosystems and vulnerable communities more difficult, but also all the more important. Today, our Pwani project, also supported by a USAID mission in Tanzania, is working to assess local impacts to climate change and identify ways that communities can adapt using their own resources and knowledge. Pwani, which means coast in Kiswahili, is presently working in two locations in the Bagamoyo district. Mlingotini is an old historic village located on the shore of the Lazy Lagoon. Kitonga is located about 35 miles inland along the Ruver River, which flows into the Indian Ocean. The process that is being demonstrated in these villages is called vulnerability assessment and adaptation planning. In each of these villages, a 12-person climate change committee, with equal numbers of men and women, was formed to go through the process. This process consists of six steps and is carried out using participatory rural appraisal methods. Climate threats are discussed in combination with national information about projected changes to the communities. Villagers identify local assets that are exposed to both climate and non-climate stressors. The sensitivity of these village assets to climate impacts are reviewed with the help of research ongoing within the country. The ability of the village to adapt is examined, including its organizational capacity and skill in mobilizing local support and resources at the district or national level. Conclusions about vulnerability take into account sensitivity and exposure on the one hand and adaptability on the other. No regrets adaptive measures are discussed and evaluated so that actions to reduce exposure or improve local capacity are chosen that are beneficial to the village regardless of how strong climate change impacts prove to be. Mlingotini has seven sub-villages with more than 2,000 residents and is sheltered by the nearly pristine Lazy Lagoon in Bayman. Even though it is just one hour drive from the coastal city of Dar es Salaam, the livelihoods of the local people are mostly based on their natural resources. The community committee revealed that changes in the timing and intensity of rains, sea level rise, saltwater intrusion, and flooding, as well as a warmer sea, all have tangibly affected their quality of life and made those in the village more vulnerable. Without predictable rainy season rain patterns, agriculture planning for rain-fed agricultural crops is difficult and food security is endangered. Tonga is not directly on the coast, but is located in the floodplain and close to the banks of the Ruva River. Here, about 300 households are also dependent on their natural resources for agriculture, especially rain-fed rice farming, vegetables, and fruits. For the people of Katanga, 
The primary climate change impact of concern is changing precipitation patterns. Both flood and drought events have a dramatic impact on crop productivity and in some cases cause a total crop loss. Flooding also eats away at roads and damages homes, vegetation and livestock along the main inundation and water flow routes. The eastern coast of Unguja, the main island of Zanzibar, is comprised of a beautiful coral reef, reef lagoon, and attractive coral sands. It is a popular visitor destination. Recently, our partners at the Institute for Marine Sciences helped complete the first coastal management plan for the shoreline between Paji and Jambiani. The need for a climate change vulnerability assessment was identified as a key action, so the Pwani program is initiating a third vulnerability assessment for this area. Both Jambiani and Paji share a large coral reef lagoon. Sand circulates around the lagoon, sometimes eroding and sometimes replenishing beaches in different areas. Local residents observe an increased number of intense storm events during certain seasons. The popularity of these beaches has led to the construction of vacation houses and small hotels along nearly all of the shoreline. This increases the potential impacts of storms and erosion. Seaweed farmers are noticing difficulties with growth rates, attributing that to water temperature change. Paje is located on the northern edge of the same reef lagoon system as its neighbor, Jambayani. Its beaches are not suffering the same extent of beach erosion. A local leader points to the fact that hotels and homes are set back further from the first dune and that many of the properties have maintained vegetative cover, which will help as storms and the associated erosion will likely increase in the future. The villages in Tanzania and Zanzibar are now selecting actions or clusters of actions and beginning to implement some of them. All of these actions are no regrets in the sense that villagers will see immediate benefits to carrying them out. In both villages in Bagamoyo district, there are more climate change risks than can be acted upon based on local funding availability and given the limits of institutional and technical capacity. Katanga has taken steps to deal with their agricultural issues and is planting their fruit trees away from areas of flooding and creating an alternative income source. In Mlingotini, the selection of species needs to be driven by soil saline tolerance, for example, different kinds of mangrove tree species. Planting resilient shrubs and grasses along the beach to reduce erosion is already being considered in Jambayani and Paji. The villages have begun to seek assistance from district agriculture extension officers on drought-resistant crops and better farming practices. They are also looking for assistance on energy-efficient technologies to reduce their consumption of wood. Installing rainwater storage systems and adequate water tanks for storage is another viable option, one which the Pwani project already has good experience with. Above all, the villagers benefit from sharing ideas and remaining in contact with Pwani and each other as they move from planning to action. To aid this process, a study exchange was arranged for the coastal and riverine villages and the district officers to visit and learn about each other's sites. Katanga learned techniques for rain-fed rice cultivation using terracing that they plan on putting into action during the next planting cycle. The village vulnerability assessments and adaptation planning presented here is work that is ongoing. The Coastal Resources Center will continue to support and track these efforts and capture the progress and lessons from these efforts in future videos. For more information on USAID's Global Climate Change Program and our work on adaptation, please go to one of these websites.